Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Move Early, Move Often. It is Throwdown Thursday. I am Blake Martin, and uh, we're in our fourth day in a series of how would you uh, continue to work out if you had had a hypothetical mountain bike crash So and had really sore low back, um, not really low back, but ribs, mostly ribs, so you can't twist very much. Um, so continuing with this whole hypothetical notion, um, we're going to do um, two two exercises this morning that focus on core strength, but we're going to do them uh, continuously, and we're going to do um, five rounds of each of them at a minute a piece. And I think by the end it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good little burn. Um, the objective here is do what you can. If we get to uh, a a point in the minute where you find that you're flagging or need to rest, then absolutely rest. Uh, the objective is always to be, just go a little further than where we are today. It's not not to beat uh, another person in, in, the, in the room or not even to just complete a thing. It's do what you can. Be sensitive to your body, to your needs. Um, and I'm going to be listening um, as if I was a person who had had a bad mountain bike crash. And I'm going to uh, tr be trying to uh, be sensitive to what my body is doing. We're going to do just a very minor warm, warm up and then we're going to get right to it. So let's get out in the space. And here we are. We're just going to, uh, the two exercises we're going to be doing this morning, we're going to be doing, uh, and these are, again, core strengthening exercises. We're going to be doing dead bug and uh, we're going to be going uh, doing bird dog. So the dead bug exercise, for those of you who may or may not know, is we're going to start with your arms and legs, uh, your, your hips are at 90, your knees are at 90, and alternate arm and leg in a very slow controlled movement. Okay, this is not fast. Slow and controlled, and slow and controlled is good for people who have hypothetical injuries, okay? So slow and controlled, that way we're um, going with what is is going to be good. So that is exercise number one. Exercise number two that we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing bird dogs. Bird dog is almost exactly the opposite of a dead bug. We're uh, in 90, 90, 90, and we're extending out and coming back down, all right? So we'll be doing those things. So just for our warm up, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to walk our hands out. We're going to cat and cow a little bit as much as you can. People with hypothetical injuries, the ribs might find this kind of um, painful. So they're going to go very slowly. So looking up, inhale. Cat, exhale, cow. Inhale, cat. Really drawing the belly button up. Draw the belly button right up. And cow, allow it to fall down through. Your pelvis is moving downward. You're looking out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Wag your tail. Your two legs are going to come over to one side. Your ear is going to come towards that side. Then to the opposite side slowly. Wag your tail again. Feet come over to one side. And back slowly to the opposite side. Press back into child's pose and just rock back and forth. Get some mobility in your low back there, your hips. Stretch one leg forward, one knee forward, other leg back in a lunge. 
kind of like a half a crazy half sphinx. Draw your chin down so that your shoulders are coming away from your ears. Back of your neck is tall. Just rock back and forth here. Your hip flexors are going to get a little workout today. Let's just move into them a little bit. Match your knees together. Opposite knee back. And uh, if I were putting on music today for this, I'd have some kind of uh, cool funk groove going. Maybe uh, a selection by the Scary Pockets. Uh, they're a jazz cover band. Or uh, maybe uh, the Brooks. They're, they're pretty awesome too. A little funk. Get your, your soul functified. All right. Let's get to it. I'm going to set my timer here. Um, I do have a timer here, don't I? I do. I have a timer. I have a timer. And let's begin. Get ready. You should be able to hear this. We're going to be, you'll hear little beeps at your halfway point. It might even tell you round, what round it is. It might even be a bell. Here we go. On your back. And dead bugs. Slowly make sure you're maintaining a neutral low spine as you do this. Keep going. And it's going to be a full five minutes of these by the end. So that's your halfway beep. Keep going. Keep your belly button glued to your spine. And for me, I'm just starting to feel a little bit of heat, warming up a little bit. Keep everything long, nice control. This is the half, uh, the full minute, seven seconds. Let's turn over. On our hands and knees here, getting ready for bird dogs. Bird dogs and dead bugs. Sounds like, I don't, does it sound like a good day or a bad day? So here again, we want our spine to be incredibly neutral. When you're lifting your leg, don't hyperextend your low back. Keep your abdomen tight, like a belt is wrapped around it. That's your halfway point for your bird dogs on this side. Keep your spine long. Everything is nice and long. There may be a sneeze in the background or sirens. Don't let that distract you. Stay focused on the prize. The prize is getting through this together. So these first two aren't going to be very much. Let's go down. Second round. Dead bugs. On your back. Everything is at 90. And opposite arm and leg. Really have the sense that as you're doing this, that the opposite arm and leg are reaching away from one another. And that your torso is completely stable. It's providing this incredibly stable base from which this movement is happening. And that's one of the things in this particular movement that is so important. Another 30 seconds. So, so far, pretty easy. I think you'll all agree. But we're not even halfway yet, so conserve it. Keep it going. We want this independent movement of torso and limbs. Keep breathing. All right. Let's come over. Hands and knees. Bird dog. Really make sure that your shoulders and your hands are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. So... Again, 
your chin is tucked, your ears are pulling away from your shoulders, your spine is neutral, especially on the extension, don't hyperextend your low back, that's your halfway point on this round. And now I'm starting to feel like my body is getting warmed up. Feel a little bit of temperature coming in here. And I'm taking really good care to have a neutral spine. Not hyperextending nor curving in the low back and keeping my neck long. All right. Round three. Dead bugs. Opposite arm and leg. Just reaching. And this is the round where you may begin to feel something. And maybe you're just an absent steel kind of person and you don't feel anything ever. And I would say get in touch with your feelings. I would say, you know, it's okay to feel. Halfway point on this round and halfway point on the entire set of activities uh, for your abdomen. And I'm starting to feel a little abdominal bird here. But I'm just really focusing on having a good neutral spine. Keeping the back of my head on my mat. There we go. Let's come over into bird dog. You guys, you're doing it. It's so easy. It's almost like your ribs don't hurt. <laughs> but not at all. Because every time I switch positions, I'm remembering what that hypothetical person would feel. Keep going. As you're doing this, really have a sense of elongation through your whole body, from toe to fingers. We're halfway, halfway on this activity. All right. Crazy. Crazy throwdown challenge. Probably easy for many of you. On to our backs. Dead bug. Round four. Opposite arm and leg. Make sure your spine is neutral. When your pelvis, make sure that your pelvis isn't arcing when your leg goes down. All right, and that's part of the reason why we only do one leg at a time and why this is an, uh, an important activity because it's all about keeping that pelvis neutral. That's part of what we're doing. We're developing neuromuscular patterning that allows us to just kind of keep that pelvis neutral while moving the leg. I don't know. I think we need another five rounds of these. Unless you guys are, are doing really well. Getting a burn on. All right. We're going to be coming around for bird dogs. Again, make sure that your hands are returning to immediately under your shoulders and that your knees are returning immediately under your hips. Really reach out through the whole body. We're working these little fine muscles close to the spine, the multifity, as well as some of the bigger muscles, the hip extensors and uh, the shoulder extensors as well. Flexors, I lied. I just get confused in this position. Feels like extension. 
And make sure that your uh, spine is staying straight in a lateral sense as well, that it's not wobbling from side to side. And down we go. Opposite arm and leg. Keep breathing. going is your halfway z point long body spine is not arcing your low back is not arcing when your leg is lowering you're keeping it just nice neutral curve I'm flipping over Bird dogs. And again, this is very subtle. A lot of stuff is happening close to the spine. It's not a crazy throwdown today, but some days. A slight throwdown is all the throwdown you need or can handle. <laughs> and it is about knowing what your limits are and making sure that you're working within them. All right, now let's just come forward and let your hips sink through. For those of you who are feeling it a little bit in your abs, you might not feel very much. And then pressing back into child's pose, puppy dog pose. Tent up your fingers and let your head come forward. Walk your fingers a little bit away from your knees just to stretch out your back. Like your fingers are trying to pull your whole body away from your hips. Hips and fingers are in opposition. Fingers are reaching in one direction, hips are pulling back. In the opposite direction. Just breathe here for a moment. Be aware of where there's tension. Are you lifting your head, holding it up, or can you let it go down? Coming up into tabletop. Just hips from side to side, windshield wiper. All right, a very gentle throwdown, not 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 your regular kind of crazy th throwdown Thursday, but sometimes uh, that's where we're at. And uh, so I'm going to accept that for myself for today, and hope that uh, if you need more of this, that you can go back. You can look at previous throwdown Thursdays uh, on the YouTube channel, and uh, you can. Uh, get something more going on or you can go out and ride your bike for a little bit or do some gardening or other things. You've moved early. I hope you remember to move off and throughout the day and we'll see you back tomorrow for Functional Friday. Have a great one.